Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, September the 13th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week four in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise waits for you, O God, in Zion. And to you shall our vows be paid. Alleluia. Psalm 65. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. Praise waits for you, O God, in Zion. And to you shall our vows be paid. To you that hear our prayer. To you all flesh shall come. Sin prevails against me. As for our transgressions, you shall purge them away. Blessed are they whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the blessings of your holy temple. By wondrous things you answer us, O God of our salvation. You are the confidence of all the earth and of the far off seas. By your strength you set fast the mountains, you are girded with power. You still the noise of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the tumult of the peoples. They that dwell at the ends of the earth are afraid at your wonders. You make the going out of the morning and the evening to rejoice. You visit the earth and water it. Your river in heaven is full of water, and you prepare them corn, and so you provide for the earth. You water the earth abundantly. You drench the furrows. You make it soft with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, and abundance flows in your paths. It flows in the pastures of the wilderness, and in the little hills, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are covered with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise waits for you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. The temptation of Jesus. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted forty days and forty nights, and afterward he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him into a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, All of these I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. And then the devil left him, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For the sick and the suffering, especially the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic. For those suffering from dementia, especially Monique. That they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For those who are serving in harm's way, especially Dan. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness 
and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Philip, Ed, Marilyn, and Wayne, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother William, Brother Max, Brother William, and for all the mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We rejoice in your abundant blessings. Wipe away our sins as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.